Chapter 1 Somebody's Mother The woman was old and ragged and grey and bent with the chill of a winter's day. The streets were wet with a recent snow and the woman's feet were aged and slow. She stood at the crossing and waited long, alone, uncared for, amid the throng of human beings who passed her by, unheeding the glance of her anxious eyes. Down the street with laughter and shout, glad in the freedom of school let out, came the boys like a flock of sheep, hailing the snow piled white and deep. Past the woman so old and grey, hastened the children on their way. None offered a helping hand to her, so meek, so timid, afraid to stir, lest the carriage wheels or the horse's feet should crowd her down in the slippery street. At last came one of the merry troop, the gayest laddie of all the group. He paused beside her and whispered low, I'll help you cross if you wish to go. Her aged hand on his strong young arm she placed, and so, without hurt or harm, he guided the trembling feet along, proud that his own were firm and strong. Then back again to his friends he went, his young heart happy and well content. She's somebody's mother, boys, you know, for all she's aged and poor and slow, and I hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother, you understand? If ever she's poor and old and grey, when her own dear boy is far away. And somebody's mother bowed low her head in her home that night, and her prayer, she said, was, God, be kind to the noble boy, who is somebody's son and pride and joy.